shackles and round slings combined with confidence. The Spanset group has been intensely involved in the safety of lifting, working at height and load control for more than 40 years and has developed into a market leading international company. Contributing to standards at a national and European level, a wide range of product developments and innovations, customer training, technical consultancy services and risk analyses have long since formed part of our everyday work. At the suggestion of several industrial and key account customers, Spanset, GmbH und KKG and Axion, GKS, Stahl und Maschinenbau, GmbH, two companies within the Spanset group, investigated the breaking strengths of roundslings in combination with standard shackles. The background, results and reasons for these very important investigations are explained in the course of this film. One application of round slings frequently encountered in practice is their use in combination with shackles of the same load capacity. Shackles are used every day in industry and by tradesmen to extend round slings or to attach them to loads. When doing this, it is important to consider the bend radius of the round sling around the shackle body. As there are no standards or regulations for assessing these situations, manufacturers and users have to rely for guidance, in addition to the rated load capacities, on the rule of thumb definition of a sharp edge issued by the relevant Occupational Health and Safety Agency. This says the bend radius of the bearing surface of a sling must be no smaller than the thickness of the sling. However, this rule of thumb is not achieved in a large number of round slings and shackles of the same rated load capacity. This rule of thumb for round slings, in use now for many years and derived from experience with wire ropes, involves a not inconsiderable degree of uncertainty, which represents a safety risk and liability for the user, as the rule of thumb does not correspond with the latest state of the technology. With the objective of eliminating this risk to safety, Spanset has invested a great deal of time and effort in determining the strengths of specific combinations of round slings and shackles. A testing plan was devised in conjunction with the Occupational Health and Safety Agency, Matal Nord Sud. The strength tests were then performed on 250 ton and 600 ton test beds at Spanset and at Axion the lifting beam manufacturer within the Spanset Germany group. For round sling shackle combinations with rated load capacities of less than 10 tons, the braking strength was defined as five times the rated load capacity. And for rated load capacities greater than 10 tons, four times the rated load capacity. In the tests, the force was applied gradually and then maintained so that the force did not fluctuate sharply and a complete failure of the sling did not occur. In addition, variable load tests were performed in which the same parts of the slings were subjected to cyclic loading. The range of tested load capacities of the round sling shackle combinations covered the commonly available products with load capacities of between 0.5 tons and 150 tons. Traditional polyester fibre round slings were tested, as were high-strength fibre round slings, such as those in the Spanset Magnum X series. Standard shackles from Fun Beast were used for the tests. These shackles are of a consistently high quality and have been deburred, which distinguishes them from imported standard shackles and makes them suitable for use with round slings. To ensure that the highest stresses on the round slings always occurred at the bearing area on the shackle, the ends of the sling opposite the suspension points were passed over a pin with a substantially larger radius than that of the shackle. The applied test load was related in each case to the pressure in the hydraulic cylinder of the testing machine.
After loading and removal from the machine, the test specimens were examined. And the findings recorded in a test report. In addition to the main criterion, i.e. whether the combinations of round slings and shackles had withstood the applied test force, it was also ascertained whether the individual components had been easy to separate from one another and whether pressure points had led to any damage of the round slings due to contact pressure and shackle radius. Of particular interest was the testing of the new Spanset Magnamex round slings, as the fibres used in these slings have different properties to those of conventional polyester fibres. Examination of the pressure points of the sling sleeves showed that the slings had been loaded beyond their rated load capacities. The load carrying core, however, remained undamaged. The known susceptibility of previous generations of high performance fibres to this type of loading is no longer seen with the type of high performance polyester used here. The results of these tests and associated certificates provide proof that Spanset round slings, in combination with Van Beest shackles, achieve the required strengths and safety factors. This means that Spanset, working in conjunction with the Occupational Health and Safety Agency, has once more eliminated a risk to safety for users and customers. Don't take risks in the future. Use this knowledge in your routine operations and combine Spanset round slings with Fan Beast shackles.